Mm -hmm. Hey, what's going on you guys? Welcome to Midweek Mobility. We are in my restroom here um, in North Park, California. And today we are going to talk about the pelvic function and the squatty potty, which my big hooves are on right now. So pelvic function in terms of urinary and defecation performance, okay? So biggest thing here is you'll notice that I am in a below parallel squat, okay? I, I live below parallel. Um, our, unfortunately, our society in terms of uh, corporate America, is we sit a lot, right? We sit and also standard toilets are very much this very neutral sitting position which is not so awesome for the pelvis, especially when you're trying to excrete all the waste in your body. So squat position is super important for uh, obviously hip mobility and health um, and the soft tissue health surrounding the pelvis and low back, but it's also important for that pelvic function to be able to urinate and excrete waste efficiently. So some of the biggest things that we see in our country, um, we have problems with the gut, um, not being able to get rid of waste colon disease, so not being able to excrete waste efficiently, constipation, both fecal and urinary. We see pelvic floor dysfunction. Um, one third of the women out there have some kind of pelvic floor dysfunction. Hemorrhoids um, is a problem, as well as the, the urinary incontinence and fecal incontinence. So, how we can help fix those diseases, those chronic disease, those diseases that become chronic, are by sitting in this squat position when we go to the bathroom. Okay, excreting waste is super important and excreting it efficiently is important. So squat position, hips are below parallel. How how low, how how deep is too deep? There really isn't too deep of a position. So if I were to squat over a hole, you know, that would be even just as efficient. So in 2010, there was a study on the influence of body position on human defecation, and really, the more hip flexion, the better. So when I um, gave my brothers who were six, seven, the squatty potty for Christmas, and they complained that their knees are in their mouth, good. That's a good thing, okay? So uh, now, biomechanics of the pelvis. So we've got the anal rectal angle, which is basically this angle here. So the, the rectum sits inside the pelvic bowl, um, <clears throat> and then you've got your, your, your anus, okay, which I'm not going to show you. <laughs> but we're looking at the angle of that, this, this particular part of our body. And we want that angle to be tilted just so. So the puborectalis muscle that surrounds that rectum that helps us excrete waste is relaxed, okay? So if that's not relaxed, the anorectal inhibitory reflex isn't going to be working efficiently. That muscle can't relax and we're going to hold on to crap, shit, waste, whatever. Um, another really key important point is that in this position, you, you're literally your intra-abdominal pressure is less. So if I'm sitting like this, I have to almost use my abdomen to excrete more. Um, but in this position, I can fully relax. And what I've been told and have experienced that it's more of a complete excrement. So we're gonna have a little right up at the bottom, you guys. Um, I would recommend looking into the squatty potty to use um, for your health and your family's health. And we'll see you next time.